42nd Street. They were notified by security inside the mall that there were shots being fired. They immediately responded to the area, along with contacting on-duty officers to respond also. They immediately uh, recognized a crime scene area, which was inside the south entrance of the mall. Um, right now, initially, people were running out of the mall. People were um, trying to get away from the area, which I understand for safety reasons. Um, shortly thereafter, we were notified of a walk into Community North of a person shot. Um, after the detective spoke to that person, we learned that he, he had been shot here at Caston Square Mall. He has um, been receiving medical treatment at the hospital and has non-life-threatening injuries. Um, right now, detectives are here at the mall. They're continuing to gather evidence. The mall is closed. Um, it will remain closed for the rest of the evening. Um, as soon as we can get more information, we'll be able to release that. However, right now, detectives are still gathering everything. They're going to be looking at video and they're going to be talking to people who work there in the mall, work there, um, and can give us additional information. Do we have any questions on that before I take off? Do you have the age of the gentleman that was shot and where he was hit? And also, the is the shooter still at large or is... Have they been apprehended? We do know it's life-threatening injuries, and we don't ever give out where they were shot. Um, no, you said that's part no, of you said non, 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 non life I'm sorry, non-life-threatening. Okay. Thank right. you. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. Non-life-threatening injuries. Um, it, this is a person in their mid-20s. As far as the shooter? The shooter, we're still on, that's still under investigation. Okay. This is the person that received the gunshot. Right, right. The gunshot right. was right. at the low So nobody is in custody. No right. one is in custody right now. And do you have an idea for what led up to that or anything like that? Or that's still under. You know what? That's still under investigation. Detectives are going to review video from inside the mall, from around, from the different stores. They're going to talk to all the people. They're going to gather that information. As soon as they know more, we'll know more. But I can tell you right now, they are all in there and they are going through everything with fine tooth comb. Janine, we talked to some people who, you know, uh, store managers came running and brought them into the back and that kind of thing. And they tell us that they were, you know, kind of hold up for about 40 minutes. Do you know if the police like go through the mall and kind of do an all clear before they let people out? That kind of thing? Um, I don't know exactly how they did it. Um, I wasn't here on the scene, um, but each store was cleared out. I do know that the personnel inside the businesses cleared out their stores once everything settled down. Officers, like I said, were there right away. Um, they, these aren't just uh, officers from other agencies. These are actual officers from Marion County Sheriff's Department and from um, IMPD. You know, they were already here on the grounds working with the mall. So they were already here just working the mall yes. as part of their... Not as their regular duty. It's called off-duty oh, okay. employment. Gotcha. Okay. But only the one person was shot. Correct. It? That's all we have at this point in time. Um, if we learn of more, we'll let everybody know. When you say the south end of the mall, some people were telling us near the port. Do you know kind of approximate area when you say south they, end? What? They call it the lifestyle wing. So, okay. I think that'd be right Yeah. We'll be right over us too. Okay. Second. Buzz and the firework can't hear you. On the other side of McAllister's, is that what you're talking about? Correct. Okay. Anything else? I understand that this was a busy evening for all of us. Um, IMPD officers are still continuing to work several different crime scenes that happened. Uh, some of them simultaneously and some were active scenes that were started earlier tonight um, to give you a rundown and an update on information on what I can. Right now, um, to update some information, just before 5 o'clock, IMPD officers responded to the 38th and Post reference a person shot. Uh, when they got there, they located two people shot, both females. Um, both females were transported to local hospitals. One was in stable condition, the other was in, con in uh, critical condition. Um, despite life-saving techniques, one of the female victims has succumbed to her injuries and was pronounced deceased later on at the hospital. Uh, homicide is there at the scene. They are still gathering information. We are still asking anyone in that area if they saw something to please come forward. Again, these are two females um, at a business. Um, we, 
we do believe that these incidents are not random acts and that at, you know so detectives are leading into the investigation to find out exactly what led up to this s38 yes ma'am well, where was it inside a business it was outside outside okay um i was going busy at approximately uh just after seven o'clock IMPD officers responded to eight, the 1800 block of North Berwick, also on a person shot. Um, they located a victim with injuries consistent with a gunshot wound inside the residence. Um, detectives responded to the scene. That person was transported. The person is in serious condition. However, right now, inv investigators are still working with the victim and were with witnesses. They believe that this was a uh, residential robbery However, they do believe that narcotics is definitely a motive in this particular criminal act. Um, they are asking for any witnesses along that area left seen leaving that area is a black colored SUV that would have left probably at a high rate of speed along the 1800, air, 1800 block of North Berwick. Um, anyone with information on that? Call, ask to call 262 TIPS, the Crime Stoppers line to remain anonymous, or you can call the Aggravated Assault Office for IMPD. Um, at a, just shortly, a few minutes after that, just before 7.15 p.m., IMPD officers also responded to 30th and Sherman, reference another person shot. At that point in time, they located another victim inside his vehicle or inside a vehicle that had crashed into a building at 30th and Sherman. When officers got to him, they observed that he had injuries that were consistent with gunshot wounds. Uh, that victim was transported to a local hospital, again, in critical condition, despite life-saving techniques um, at the hospital. The, he did succumb to his injuries, and they did pronounce him deceased shortly thereafter. Right now, homicide detectives are there at the scene. They're still gathering information. Um, we have multiple teams at different locations tonight. So we're asking, it's very important as a community, we need to step up. You need to step up and let us know what's going on. Let us know when you see things. As a community, we are, and as the police, we're, we're running a defense. We can't be man to man. You know, you're part of our, you're part of the zone that we have to run. So I need each of you to step up and actually let us know. Everybody knows about different people in their circles that are involved in criminal activity, that know about inf incidents that may be happening or going to occur. These are incidents that we need help stopping. We ask that you reach out to IMPD, to Crime Stoppers, anybody you can or anybody that you feel comfortable with speaking with so that we can prevent these things from happening. Any questions? Can you go back to the 30th and Sherman? Any idea on what happened there? If I saw broken glass there on the street. It looked like there was a bullet wound through the back windshield. We do know that the person was shot inside the vehicle. And what I mean by that is that a uh, bullet struck that person from as they were driving. However, uh, we do believe we do not believe that this is a random act. Okay. Uh, none of these none of these incidents appear as as of right now to be linked in any way. Any questions on that? Um, do any of them appear? None of them appear random. Either. No, each one of them appear to be, you know, isolated incidents within, within themselves. And targeted by somebody that wasn't a stranger. Kind of Correct. You know, um, we believe that, you know, there is some type of um, motive behind each one of these um, other than just being random. Does this at all, I mean, raise any flags for you guys? I mean, with the fireworks going off right now, heading into the 4th of July weekend that we're getting off to such a, a dangerous start here? You know, I hope that people recognize the fact that, you know, we don't we don't want to live this way. Everybody in this community doesn't want to live this way. So we need everybody needs to step up. This is a time where we need to 
understand that we are going into a holiday weekend. People want to enjoy this weekend. If you know of something happening, it's time to come forward and let, let officers know. You know, we, we are going to have extra manpower all throughout the weekend. Um, not just, you know, tonight or tomorrow. Sunday, we have the fireworks downtown. We have Marion County Fairgrounds is going on. Um, we have multiple different events. So at, at each one of these events, we're asking everyone to be diligent about what they see, what they hear. And if they see something, they have to say something. We need this not just as a department, but we need this as a community. Talk about all the other incidents as well as the extra show of force on Meridian. I mean, can IMPD handle all that's happening right now? You know, we can. I mean, that's what we're trained to do, and that's what officers are coming in. They're dedicated to their jobs. You have detectives that work for, you know, two and three days, sometimes at a, at a time, on one case um, and, and not go home. Not, you know, they miss family functions. They miss holidays. They miss special picnics with everything because they're here, committed to their jobs, committed to their community. Thank you. The victim at North Carolina.